But actually, I suppose becoming a mum and then having this great opportunity um, with a lot of my work, I'm still able to work from home. I'm able to take her to work. You know, my latest project with the fashion range, I have an office in my house. So a lot of that was conducted up there with her in the room <laughs> trying to like contribute. She was able to come to the shoot. And I think as she gets older, I'll be able to really get her involved and get her volunteering. Well, I was well. going to say that. Did any of her ideas make the final range? Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> she looked at fabrics and prints. And I mean, she's a tomboy. So so right. she, she loves like Spider-Man and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Look out for that in a future design, <laughs> maybe. Um, I know you recently sort of told her about what happened to you. How did you yeah. approach that with her? Obviously, she's still very, very young. Yeah, um, she says to me, uh, it's not even so much my face. It's more like my body's got quite a lot of scars on. So she sees me like in the bath and things. Just says, oh, what's happened? Are you OK? Um, and I think her memory every time she'll be like are you okay what's happened I'll be like no it happened ages ago I got burnt and then she's like well, I want to kiss it better kisses it better and she knows the concept of like the oven will burn her and that I got burnt but she never goes beyond asking me like how or why it's always you know or she'll see my hand and be like oh my gosh what's happened be careful <laughs> because I'm always telling her to be careful so I'm sure in a couple more years it will expand and she'll ask more you know